Anger is building over massive changes to how Californians are being charged for electricity. And I have to be honest with you, I think there is a push, a move to absolutely bankrupt the entire state of California. If you agree with that, type Newsom sucks down below. Look, this story is out of the Los Angeles Times. It's a big deal. Why? Because it's the eighth largest, California, eighth largest economy in the world. It's a big deal. And as it collapses, it's going to have a big, massive effect on the rest of America. All right, here we go. Anger building over sweeping change in the way most Californians will pay for electricity. It says, with little debate, two years ago, state lawmakers passed a complex energy bill that enabled a sweeping change in how most Californians are billed for electricity. The legislation was what Pacific Gas and Electric had asked for. From the State Public Utilities Commission three months before, a transformation of electric rates so that the households would pay a fixed charge each month in exchange for lower rates for each kilowatt hour they used. Governor Gavin Newsom, the head clown in charge of California, I added that, submitted the bill as part of a massive 2022 budget revision. In four days, it was passed out of an assembly committee hearing without discussion, approved by the full assembly and Senate and signed by Newsom. The state's three largest investor owned power companies that pushed for the change say it will encourage Californians to ditch cars and appliances that run on planet warming fossil fuels. This is absolutely insane. Do you remember when Gavin Newsom's like, all cars are gonna be electric by a certain date and, and even Tesla comes out and goes, that's impossible. We can't even charge the cars we've got. And then they're uh, this, yeah, crazy people are running this state. And that's why I left. I'm not in California anymore. I left. Whew. They say, they also say that the new monthly fee will allow them to more uh, evenly allocate fixed costs among customers. That's actually not true. They're going to take that and, and just blow it. And, and I want to remind you, pg e has been bailed out numerous times by the state. This is absolutely insane what's going on. It says, but opponents say the legislation was fi uh, fin a financial gift to pg e Southern California Edison, and San Diego Gas and Electric, and will cause millions of Californians who live in small homes or apartments to, that use little electricity to pay more, while residents in large homes that use a lot of electricity will save money. If you wanted to design a policy that would send the signal that con uh, conservation doesn't count, this would be it, says Ken Cook, president of the Environmental Working Group. Now, as governor appointed members of the California Public Utilities Commission prepare to approve a $24 a month uh, charge at, at the May 9th meeting, some lawmakers who voted for the original legislation are trying to reverse it. So think about this. This $24 monthly charge is for everybody, for poor people or rich people. And rich people are like, who cares? Pounds and 24 bucks and I get to pay cheaper uh, rates on electricity? Go for it. I'm just gonna heat my hot tub at night and I'm gonna cool it down as a pool in the, in the day. And I'm gonna heat it back up because I'm paying super low rates. And then there's someone that's like an energy Grinch in, in a good way because they're trying to save money. And, and I lived for a greater part of a decade when I was first married, really like, like we barely ran the AC, only a few days out of the summer. You know, it was like how you dressed. You bundled up during the winter or you wore less clothes during the summer uh, because you didn't want to use the heater or the AC as little as possible to save money so we could invest that money and get out of the hole that we were in. That's really what happened with me. I know what that's like. And so when my normal bill was, average bill was like 60 or 70 bucks way back when, I know it's insane now. But you think about it, there are so many people that are in that situation right now. Like, hey, I only pay like 50 bucks a month, 70 bucks a month, and now I'm getting a $24 a month fee. That's one less time I get to go out to eat this uh, month. Or, you know, that's that many less groceries I get to buy or uh, that much less gas I get to put in my car. And see, the governor wants to destroy your pocketbook. And, and you know what's crazy? What's the alternative? Um, oh, now think about this. I'm going to give up my gasoline car so I could buy an overly priced car that's collapsing in price, by the way, if you buy a Tesla or any of these EVs. You buy it, you drive it off the lot, it's worth crap. It goes down in value. Then I've got to go and pay super expensive electricity rates that when you do the math, doesn't pencil out. It just doesn't pencil out. But they don't care about that. It's like the mask mandate while Gavin Newsom's out at his little chateau having a party with his family and none of them are wearing masks. 
This is how it really happens. If this isn't enraging you, I don't know what will. As a matter of fact, if you're from California and this pisses you off, say I'm from California and I'm pissed. And let the world know that Californians aren't all crazy. It's like 85% of this state is amazing and 15% of them are complete lunatics. And then they're following like 1% of the elites. I'm referring to liberals following elites. And you know what's crazy to me? The crazier the liberal, the poorer they are, I notice. It's just they just lost their mind. They have no idea of what reality is. Now it says opponents complain that the new law eliminates a $10 cap on fixed charges that have been placed since 2013 and that there is nothing to prevent the utilities from raising it higher. It says there's now, there is a trend nationwide of utilities trying to move more of the payments they extract from ratepayers into fixed fees because they get that money no matter what. You know, a lot of people don't know this, or maybe do, but in California, and I'm sure it is with other companies, when you buy a house, there is a, you could go completely off the grid, right? But you actually can't. You can never go completely off the grid. You'll always owe the local power company because they get to hit you with a fixed rate, whether it be $10, $15, $25 a month, fixed rate, because at one point when your house was built before you ever bought it, they did the hookup. <laughs> Think about this. They ran a, so you got this road right here, right? It's, it's, it's all these blank lots. Well, underground, there is a line and that line was put in by a utility company. So it's underground, it's just waiting. So one day this is gonna be mowed, uh, leveled, built on, and whether it be commercial or residential, someone's gonna pay all the expense and then they're going to hook up to that line a mere you know, 20 feet to the structure. Well, now that utility company owns you for life. Why? Because now that you hooked up and, and they had to have a truck come out and about two hours ago, and you still have to pay the electrician pretty much to get the line and everything right there, the company utility company goes, all right, here we go. We're just gonna put a coupling on, click, turn it on. All right, now we get to charge you for the rest of this property's life a fixed fee, a fixed rate. What are 10, 15, $25, think about it. For the rest of its life, this property is in bondage to a utility company. And whatever owner comes along and goes, in technology advances and goes, dude, I, I don't wanna pay these insane prices. I'm off the grid. And they go, okay, cool, you're off grid. Except for that fixed fee. Because one day we showed up for two hours at most of your expense and we just went click. That is, to me, that's tyranny. That's not freedom. That's, we should have the freedom to be able to walk away from these companies, go, no, 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 no. I'm gonna catch my own dang rainwater. Well, that's illegal now. They got laws in California against that. Oh, you got, uh, uh, I wanna have my own electricity. Can't do that either, sorry. We figure out a way to where you are in bed with the government and you owe, regardless if the company is private, because like PG&E's example, they just keep going back to the government for bailouts because they're too big to fail. If this doesn't enrage you, I don't know what will. I'd like to say I hope you got something from this, but in some instances in life, you're just a slave to the lender. And the lender sometimes is a utility company. The Economic Ninja is out.